All right, let's return to the courts where the trial of Ndutuko Shoba continues today. He's the alleged mastermind in the murder of Tsekhofato Pule. Our reporter, Govan Whittles, is following that case for us. Govan, a quick recap of uh, what the court heard yesterday. Well, Shoba took the stand and his testimony focused in most part about how he knew the uh, hitman who has turned state witness and implicated him in the killing of Tsekhofato Pule, essentially saying that he was a friend of his cousin, that they had minimum interactions and uh, he had only seen him at a robot where the hitman had told him uh, that uh, the hitman was selling cigarettes during the lockdown when it was illegal and Shoba admitted to going to buy it from him a few times at his home in Durban Deep. Durban Deep, of course, is where Tsekhofato Pule's body was found um, and uh, the hitman said that um, um, Shoba was integral in organizing her killing, even going as far as saying that the jeep which picked up Tsekhofato Pule the day before her murder for this supposed job interview opposite the McDonald's had been arranged by Ntutuko Shoba. Shoba is completely um, denying all of this, saying that he had never arranged any sort of uh, interaction with the hitman to have um, his, his then girlfriend, Tsekhofato Pule, murdered and also claiming that he was excited for their baby, um, that he had told his father about it um, and that uh, he had planned to introduce her to the family. This, of course, was met by audible gasps from the gallery yesterday, uh, people not believing Shoba's story uh, because of the overwhelming evidence. And his attempt to have this entire case dismissed and thrown out of court was also um, dismissed yesterday um, after it emerged that he does have uh, questions to answer after being implicated by the sitman. So today we're expecting him to return to the stand, um, continue with the testimony, and he'll face some tough questioning around his relationship with Tsekhofat Sepule and how he knew this hitman.